Hey Virgo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it does hit home, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And check out your extended bonus. Um, I have Today, I just uploaded um, your extended reading for what's happening behind the scenes. And I also have why is your person not communicating? So they're both are on Vimeo. I'll link all the details in the description box. So you can check out the bonus um, if you desire. Personal readings, everything. Um, you can go to my Etsy shop. Okay, one stop place for everything from my readings, my email tarot readings to my tarot oracle deck, spiritual jewelry. All right. So Virgo, let's jump right in. Virgo in love. What's going on? All right, let's see what's going on, Virgo, please. All right, the current energy is a seven of wands, the nine of wands in reverse, and a hermit in reverse. So I feel very strongly that, Virgo, um, you and your person are really in this place of trying to decide if this is something you still want to fight for, okay? The seven of wands, I do feel someone here is blocking the other person or guarded or resistant toward the connection, but ultimately, you know, the challenge is to see, well, do we fight for this or do we just give up, okay? I do feel like right now it may... You may feel as if this person has given up on you, Virgo, because I feel like this is someone that either you turned your back on or you had to, or this person turned their back on you. I don't feel you're talking to this person right now. There may be no communication with that hermit. It's kind of the energy of ghosting and silencing sometimes, but there's a reason, right? I feel a lot of you guys are on break from this person, and it's because there's been some kind of conflict um, or challenge here where someone is saying, you know what? I need time to myself. I need to think about this. This is a time of introspection and deep thought and contemplation, and what you guys are contemplating is essentially if this is something you still want to give it one last shot. Do you want to push forward in this connection, okay? I feel a lot of you guys, Virgo, you're having to stand up for what you want. There's something about you um, setting boundaries with this person, okay? It could be a Leo, a Sag, and Aries. Give me the recent past here. In the recent past, we have the Hangman. We have the Four of Swords in reverse, and we have the King of Wands. Some of you guys have done with the Leo and Sagittarius. Aries. In a recent past, I do feel things were very much stuck, right? There's been some delays. There's been like some, uh, you know, an energy where things haven't really been moving. This person may have been quiet. But I also feel like, again, contemplation, thinking, right? This is assessing with the hangman energy. It could be also a very spiritual card. So the reason why something has not been moving forward, even though, Virgo, you've been wanting some kind of change and forward movement is because there's a timeout here. Right, there's a timeout with the four of swords where it's like, you know what? I need peace of mind. I need to find out a way through this. It's too much conflict. I can't think right now, and I need peace of mind. I need to I need to be in this place of silence where I can do some assessing and looking at this connection from other standpoints so I can figure out if this is something I want. So I do feel there's a reason why this break is happening. Let's see what's on your mind, Virgo. Virgo. The High Priestess came out in the verse. We had the Page of Swords and we have the Lovers. Strong Gemini energy here and Piscean energy. I feel, Virgo, a lot of you guys are being challenged to use your intuition. Maybe this is something that you haven't been using with regard to this connection and could be the reason why maybe you felt like, you know, you went down the wrong path or you guys are where you are right now. I also feel like this is someone here that you're very much tied to. Very strong connection. The soulmate card is here with the Lovers. But let's be honest, Virgo, right? The love is about making a decision. And a lot of you guys, Virgo, you have a very important decision you're having to make regarding this person right now. I do see a lot of you guys are gathering information, the Page of Swords, you're gathering as much information as you can. Maybe you feel this person hasn't been communicating thoroughly or there may have been something here that was left out. You're having to find out the facts, right? Because there's something here that may have been revealed recently, Virgo, okay? Maybe it's in a process of being revealing, okay, as you're finding as you're in this page of swords energy, there's something that may be coming out or the veil is coming off. And it could be really because you're looking for it. So whatever you're finding out, Virgo, I do feel like it's going to help you in making this decision, okay? And being able to confidently decide, do I want to continue to move forward and work for this connection, come into union here with the lovers, or is it just something I just want to let go, right? So let's see what's in a um, foundation that you're dealing with. What's going on with this person? 
Three of Swords came out in the verse. So if you guys thought this person was unaffected or not hurting, not not even feeling this breakup or separation, no, that's wrong. Your person has a Three of Swords. So there could have been a betrayal. There could have been a separation of some sort. But I do feel your person, you know, they're in their heart space. So there's just definitely someone who's affected by some kind of ending. Um, even if you were the one who may have gotten hurt initially, this is someone who's feeling some kind of you know, hurt as well, okay? There's some kind of backlash or consequence that they're feeling because of something they may have done to you. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Knight of Pentacles coming out. We have the Two Swords in reverse. And we have the Temperance in reverse. So I do see, Virgo, there's someone here who's trying to make a head of a heart decision. This decision is regarding bringing some form of stability back to this connection, okay? This is someone who may be coming up um, with a way, with an idea or a plan on how to come forward towards you. This is definitely someone here who's moving very slowly, though. And the reason is because there may be a lot of imbalance in their life. There may be a lot of chaos, a lot of drama between you and them. And it may be making them question if this is even possible, right? Again, a hermit going within, trying to find the answers, right? The four of swords, we have the hangman, things are stuck. So I do feel there is something slowly, slowly happening, coming together or coming towards you, Virgo. We're going to find out what exactly that is. They may certainly view you as someone who is valuable to them, who's worthy, and they still are investing in the connection. But there's a decision that your person is having to make. And I feel like this decision can certainly bring some kind of balance back into this connection, okay? Let's see. Let's get some more clarity. Some of you guys are done with the Sagittarius. Let's see what the outcome looks like for Virgo and this person. Four pentacles in reverse. We have the queen of wands in reverse and a three of wands in reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. I feel very strongly, Virgo, in, in the outcome, there's something someone is going to have to let go. This could be anything. It could be a mindset. It could be um, a certain expectation. There's something that someone is holding on to tightly. It could be a person. And by letting that go... Um, I feel like I feel like letting it go is necessary. It's like letting go of control issues. It could be just surrendering to the connection because something here may not be coming in right just when you want it, Virgo. Okay. I feel like this is someone who you may be waiting for. In fact, you could be waiting forever for it because I'm getting they're really moving slow. And part of you guys, I, I'm seeing that you may be waiting, hoping, thinking this person's gonna come toward you and no, it's not happening right away. This is someone who's really maybe not focused right now. We have the temperance and burst. They may be hurting. They may be still healing, right? And that Knight of Pentacles, again, slowest night of the tarot deck. So there's something here, Virgo, that is challenging you to free yourself from some kind of expectation or um, there's something here you're having to release, okay? Because this person may not have a way. There, there may not be a strategy just yet on how this person can come towards you. So there's something about you to stop, stop waiting, give up on waiting. And that may actually allow something to happen. So we're going to see what that's all about. Let's get some clarity for you guys, Virgo. Virgo, sun rising and Venus. Clear messages for Virgo. I feel strongly the seven of wands, you guys are really fighting for what you want. There's something, Virgo, that you feel you're entitled to, okay, with regard to this connection. You may have felt like this person wasn't able to give it to you, but you feel very strongly that this is something that you deserve. What's this about? The eight of wands in reverse and the emperor in reverse. Yeah, I feel a reason why something here has not been able to move forward or there's been some kind of delays or lack of change. Eight of wands is a lack of change or communication is because... This person, the Emperor Universe, you've expected a lot of this person and they just, they just, I'm getting, they failed you. There's something about this person not making the right decisions, not taking the right actions, not stepping up to the plate. With the Emperor Universe, this is someone you cannot rely on. And you guys have relied on this person or trust that this person would take the action and they failed you many times, numerous times. And there's something here that you're really standing for. You really want, you want, you really want this person to you know, really grow pair of balls, right? You really want this person to commit. You really want this person to take action or admit their wrongs, be accountable. There's something that you really, really want. And if you don't get that from this person, I feel like you guys are just like at a point of dropping it. And that is something that you're really trying to figure out with this hermit card. Tell me more about this hermit. 
the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, just a lot of you guys, you may have fire in your chart or you just be, you're coming across as, as a fire sign because you're very passionate about something, especially when it comes to this situation. Okay, I'm getting a lot of fire. <laughs> now, what I'm seeing is that the reason why you guys are contemplating on holding back with the Queen of Wands in reverse, um, you know, maybe even giving up on the connection is because something here, again, it's not it's not met your expectations this person has failed you the six of wands versus something here has not been able to be successful you've not been able to achieve something with regard to this person so you're at a point of really deciding if this is something you still really feel strongly for if you still want to push for right so that is something that you guys are having to make a decision about um give me the recent past there's been some stuck energy tell me more about the hangman why is someone stuck? Why is it? It's kind of like a stalemate energy. Nothing's moving. Kind of just hanging there. All right. We have the five of pentacles in reverse. The five of swords in reverse. A lot of fives. And the page of swords in reverse. So the reason why things are kind of stuck, right, in this hangman energy is for one, there's been no communication, right? Someone is afraid to communicate. And the reason it could be because there was some kind of conflict or disruption. Someone got put out in the cold. Someone, got a, someone was abandoned or... Um, I'm getting someone neglected the other person. There's definitely energy of departing, parting ways, um, conflict, challenges. Therefore, I'm just, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm done. I'm not talking to you anymore. So I feel like that's the reason why things have been in this hangman energy, right? Because there's some assessing and figuring out, well, after this conflict, what can we do? How can we overcome this? Um, how do I speak to my person? What do I say, right? Page of swords. So there's definitely someone here who wants talk to you. I feel like they've been wanting to talk to you for a very long time, Virgo, but because of the conflict, vibes are about challenges and tarot. We got two vibes here. Because of all the challenges in the past, they're feeling as if, well, they can't come towards you right now. There's some stress here. It could be a Leo Sag Aries. Tell me more about this four swords. Why is this person stressed? Someone is stressed. Five of wands. Again, fives. Fives are challenges, right? We got all the fives here. Five of wands and a five of cups. Oh my goodness. Five of wands, five of cups, five of swords, and five of pentacles all came out. Wow. Five, five, five. There may be something significant about the number five. Maybe something's going to happen in five weeks, five months. Maybe something happened in May. Okay. I don't know. May of the month, May 5th. All right. Let's see. Um, Let's get back. Five of wands and the five of cups both come in reverse. There's a lot of regrets, okay? And I feel like that's why your person's very anxious or stressed out because they regret. They regret giving you... um. All, you know, making something difficult. They regret not fighting for this connection. The five of wands, I feel like also this person regretting that they just resisted in general, right? There's something about resisting or pushing away and not giving you the fight, not giving this connection the fight that it deserved. So I feel very strongly there's a lot of regrets, a lot of remorse, feeling guilty, feeling really bad and disappointed. And that's why this person's stressed because now they feel like as if you've gotten away. Virgo, you've gotten away, now you're going. And now they have no connection with you, right? Page of Swords in verse. They can't seem to find out what's going on with you. They want to get out of the cold here with you. The Five of Pentacles in verse. They feel distant. They feel in a place of lack, right? You're not paying them much mind. Now, what I'm seeing is that, well, Virgo, you're still tied to them. For one, we have the lovers, so you're not really going anywhere, right? There's a very strong connection that's connecting both of you, even if you guys are not talking. And I even feel, Virgo, you're collecting information. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. You're getting some information or insight on something that may be revealed with the High Priestess in verse, maybe some information here. The Wheel, the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Cups in verse. A lot of you guys, there's something here that you're getting information about, and it's going to allow big changes to occur. Okay, the wheel, there's something here that may be changing in favor of some kind of positive movement within a connection. And it's because you're finding out something. Now, some of you guys are you're finding out as to why this person wasn't able to really fight for and defend the connection. I feel like this is someone who could have been protecting something or very guarded. Okay. I also see that this is someone who may have been blocking out. Um, you finding out about their other options, maybe other people that they were dealing with. There's something about this person having other interests or just a lot of options. And what it's telling me is that there's something you're becoming more clear about. And that may also allow something to change in your favor. Okay, There may be some kind of perspective, some kind of different perspective that you're gaining with regard to the information you're getting. Um, but I do feel it's regarding why something didn't work, why someone blocked the other person out, didn't make it work, resisted. And um, again, there may have been an underlying reason for that. 
okay? So let's see what's going on in the foundation. We have the Three of Swords. I want to find out why this person's hurt. Why are they hurt? A lot of you guys, you're the one who got hurt, but then they're also experiencing some kind of hurt. Why is the Three of Swords? They're hurt because we have the Nine of Cups in verse with the Two of Cups in verse. So they're hurt because they're not happy where things are. They're unfulfilled. They're unsatisfied. And a lot of you guys are hurt because they realize that you were their person, the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups in verse, so there's a falling out of a very beautiful connection. Someone here that they really, really, really did care about and someone who they really love. So yeah, they're hurt because they hurt you. They're hurt because they no longer have this close connection with you or they hurt someone that they really loved. And they're finding themselves really, really in their heart. Um, feelings for you nine of cups in verse they're really unhappy and feeling emotionally confused as to why they did that right why did i hurt someone who actually really cared for me so there is some kind of decision that your person's making um tell me more about the two swords and maybe trying to bring some stability to this connection two swords is clarified by the nine of wands in reverse and the empress in reverse so there's something about making a decision. Some of you guys, there could have been a third party getting in the way. And if that's the case, there's a decision that your person's making to no longer nurture or um, entertain a connection outside of the relationship they have with you. I even feel like your person is giving up on that connection. There's something about your person letting go or no longer no longer giving to another situation because that's no longer fulfilling that's no longer going to bring them any abundance in their life that is not going to help the situation i feel with the empress in verse there's something here that they're allowing to die in their life it could be another connection in order for them to rebuild this with you i'm getting they have to release something and that's probably why we also have the four pentacles in verse Someone here has to drop something. It could be dropping a person, it could be dropping a situation, it could be dropping a past, a grudge. There's something that has to be sacrificed, and that could be certainly, again, a third party. But there's something that has to be sacrificed in order for something to truly come in. Um, tell me more about that. We have the Ace of Swords, we have the High Priestess in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and there's definitely some kind of truth, clarity, victory, okay, that you will have in this connection, Virgo. I feel there's something that is going to be revealed with the high priestess in verse. You don't see it. You're unaware. But the veil is coming off, okay? The veil is coming off. You're getting truth. You're getting clarity. And what you're getting clarity on is that there really is stability at the end of the day, the Ten of Pentacles. But I feel, again, the challenge is to drop something, free yourself from something. Some of you guys, it's to no longer wait on this person, okay? Give me, give me the Three of Wands real quick. Why is it, why are you giving Virgo um, advice to not hold on to this person and to not wait on them? The world in reverse, the hangman. Because, look at that. Because there's a lesson here for you guys. The world in reverse, a lot of you guys, Spirit is saying you're having to learn a lesson to let go of control issues, to let go of people, to not hold on to people too tightly. The hangman, if you do that, it's just going to keep things stuck where it is. And the challenge for you guys, again, is to let it go. Let it go, drop it, don't wait, don't expect anything from this person. And by doing that, there's something coming in. Some of you guys, it's going to encourage this person to be honest with you, to tell you the truth, what really happened. There's something that's going to be revealed once you drop it, once you let go, once you take a step back, once you energetically take your, take your energy back, take your power back. This person's gonna, gonna realize that, wow, Virgo's moved on, so now I can come to Virgo with the truth. There's something here you're going to find clarity on, and there's a breakthrough. There's something that's going to be revealed regarding the Ten of Pentacles. This person is certainly could be bringing the Ten of Pentacles or some kind of offer or stability um, or something long term. Okay. So Virgo, that is what I have for you guys. If you enjoy this reading, like, share, comment, subscribe, your extended bonus reading. Why is this person not communicating? And also what is going on behind the scenes? There's two different readings up on Vimeo for September for you guys. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I wish you the best. Take care.